gospel. Abel, where are you? <laughs> if you're introducing your wife, if I'm introducing my wife Dorothy, I'm saying I'm married to my, I'm married to Dorothy and she's a woman. You have to mention that. In 2009, I was in New York. I went to a church. And the, the, it was a, it was a Episcopal church. A dead church. And this priest, in, in, it is my partner. And introduce a man that this is partner. I said, ah, what do you mean? I said, to I had to leave that place. How many of you watched a video? I'm not going to mention his name. You watched, you watched on social media someone kissing their brother. On, on the in the papers, how many of you watch? You Uganda. This is not and and someone in some church prayed for that person. I'm not going to mention that church. What is going wrong, Bajenzi? You should preach to them to get saved. To bless, not to bless that they, they have they have a masanyu and a, and they enjoy that dancing while they are going to hell. They should come and dance in church with Pastor Timothy and, and, and the youth and dance before Jesus. Not in a so that is what is happening. Family values are going going haywire. Here in somewhere, the, the bishops were, were condemning in, 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 in Fort Porto the other two days ago. They are giving young people like this one. They give you 600,000 if you're a student. So that you can promote a wicked vice that God judged in Sodom and Gomorrah. Hello. Hello. Now, this is one lady. Listen to this. This is a Ugandan leader. I'm not going to mention the name. This lady sits, this person sits somewhere. And it is, it is, it is, not, it is not secret anymore. She sits, the person sits in the United States. In, in the United Nations. She has asked the government of Uganda to accept homosexuality. Describing it as normal. And those involved must be allowed to love and associate freely without criminalizing them. She condemned parliament for tabling the bill. Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah. Be careful. I want to, I want, I, I tell your neighbor next election. How many of you are above 18? Put up your hand if you are above 18. Like me. Next election, make sure you vote. Vote for the right people. Who wants to go to parliament next next year? No longer is not here, but is there any other person who wants to go to parliament? 
We need to start promoting you now. So that you go to parliament. And you promote the right things. Finally, before I conclude, I will conclude with with the, the coming of the Lord. I still have about an hour. <laughs> Praise the Lord. What have we learned? How many signs have you learned so far? Can we say it, number one? Spiritual sign, number two? National sign. Number three, natural sign. Number four, number four, social sign. Number five, international sign. Verse 25 of Luke. international sign. Media. The Bible says, this is what the Bible says. Turn to look. Luke 21. Verse 25. There will be signs in the moon. Sun, moon and stars. And on the earth, nations will be in anguish. And perplexed and a perplexity at the coming, the roaring and tossing of the sea. Next. Next. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world. For the heavenly bodies will be shaken. For the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Verse 25. Yeah, heavenly bodies will be shaken. What is international? International means everywhere. International. It, means it is happening in Uganda. In the US. In China. In the Middle East. In Australia. In Australia. In the islands of the sea. It is happening. Right now, how is it happening? There is a, what they call international sign. We are seeing it all over through news. Have you seen this? There are many people watching me as I preach. Online. International sign. We are seeing that happening. And because of that, people, people's hearts faint. People are scared. There is ungodliness. Right now, you don't need to switch on Hope Radio. To get what is happening somewhere. Just get, you need to have an MBs and just switch on your phone and then you see things happening in Malawi. Happening in, in there are apps, phones that you buy that comes with, with apps and you begin to see everything happening around the world. It just happens like that. Even a person in the village sees it. It's happening. International, everywhere. Everybody's seeing it. It's happening. The final sign before I talk about the coming of the Lord. Remember, remember what Jesus says. When the disciples asked him, when will this happen? 
the sign of your coming. You remember? I want you to tell your neighbor. Please read your Bible. The Lift Up Jesus is a praying church. But in, in Sunday school, we say, Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. Come Sunday school, no twega kesho ngorongu. Osho me bibuli yawe, osha be buri zoba, osha be buri zoba, osha be buri zoba. Osho me bibuli yawe, osha be buri zoba. Obo ne kukura. So I want you to. Let me tell you, if you want to be protected from all that is happening, make sure the Bible is your friend. Read your Bible. Read your Bible than your books. Read your Bible. I, when I was in my old level, we used to say, Pastor Timothy, you used to say, pray like you... Pray as if you never read and read like you never pray. <laughs> you go and fast and pray behind the behind the the, 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 the the laboratory and people are getting saved every day. And let me tell you, I passed all my all my subjects. And God would even show me what was going to come. You would show me, read here, read here, read there. Mukama kabanyo bembera chat shoma ho shome hari ho shome hariya. God is in charge. Abo kubara anga rukuteje chira shome biona. Does that does not does not excuse you for reading? You must read. Konka waba yomo people rukshoma. Chikuma sangu ta shome bita bo. They said the Holy Spirit will give will write. No, it will not. He never kuanga shome bita bo. That is foolishness. That is foolishness. Make sure you read. What does the Bible say? God blesses the work of your God blesses the work of your Psalm 144 verse 1 says you will, you will, you will train your fingers to fight and your, your, you train you to, 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 your fingers to fight. I Isaiah 32, I think verse 6, he said you will be a sure foundation for your times. A store of salvation, wisdom, a, a power and wisdom. The fear of God is the key to this treasure. I memorized those more than 20 years ago. So make sure you read and memorize it. Oh, I don't want to divert you. Let us go. The, uh, we, we say international sign. Then the last, the last one, which is just a, a small one, before we, we, we look, we'll talk about the coming of the Lord. Is the sign of Israel. Say the sign of Israel. 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 You know Israel? Do you know that Jesus is a Jew? When Jesus comes, he's not going to come to Kabbal, he's coming to Jerusalem. He may, he may make you the king of Kabbal. I don't know. I don't know. But he's going to rule from Jerusalem. So this is what Jesus said. That he's going to bring them back and restore them back. In 1948, 14th May, Israel was restored as a nation after 2,000 years. And whatever is happening in Israel will determine the coming of Jesus. Will determine what? Israel is the time clock of the world. Israel ni hanga eliaka mani soko kutera kwesha hayensi ona. I want to read this verse, then we go to the. Uh, Ni yenangu tshomecha andi chugwechi. 
Go to chapter 24 of, of, uh, of Matthew. Verse 13. Matthew 24. Matthew 24 verse. Um, verse 20, 32. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs are get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things, once you know that it is near, right at the door. I tell you, this generation will not pass away. Will not pass away. Until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. But my words will not pass away. The words of Jesus. Come and give Jesus a hand of praise. Hallelujah! Now, in light of the signs of the coming of Jesus, I want to give you four, ask you four questions. In light of all that is happening, how many of you heard of the word rapture? The rapture of the church. You heard the word rapture. You've heard. Many, come on, don't be ashamed. Okay. The rapture is not in the Bible, but it is, it is a word that was coined to talk about the coming of Jesus. Go back, go back to, go back to, go back to um, Luke chapter. 21 verse 28. 28. 28. Verse 28. Okay. Kandi Go back to the, the verse 27. The At that time, after the signs, they will see. The son of man coming in the clouds of heaven. Where will they see it from? They will see it from Jerusalem. But also the rest of the church and the world will see it on television. And some will see it in the sky. Coming in the cloud. With power and great glory. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. Revelation 1 verse 8. What does it say? Let's go there. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. Then verse 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. Then verse 9. 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 Verse 
Look is coming with the clouds. And every eye will see him. Even those who pierced him. And the peoples of the earth will mourn because of him. Who will come? It is Jesus who is going to come. Every eye will see him coming. He's coming in the clouds. He's coming back soon. His coming is not far. We need to prepare. We need to prepare. That coming of the Lord is called a rapture. There are many schools of thought. There are many schools of thought. There are those who say Jesus is going to come before the seven years. Come on, just worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Just tell the Lord, I want to be ready. I don't want to be caught in the fracas. I want to be ready. I want to be ready when you come back. I want to be ready. Look at the Bible. Look at the Bible. There are three. There are three schools of thought. say Jesus is coming before the seven years. There are those who say Jesus is coming in the middle. The great tribulation. How many of you remember COVID-19? How many of you remember the lockdown? How many of you, How many of you? How many of you remember when, they, when the police were hitting you? How many, how, many, how many were whipped by the police? You remember? All over the world, they were whipping people. COVID-19 was brought by wicked men. But there is a time, there's a judgment that is going to come. It's going to come on the world. And I'm going to share with you in Luke. A terrible time. I want us to go there. Let us go to, go to Luke 21. Go back to Luke 21. Quickly, 21. Verse 29. He replied, watch out that you are not deceived. No, no. Go, go back to 29, 29. 29. Verse 29. He told them this parable, look at the fig tree and all the trees. Verse 23. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is near. Verse 31. Verse 31. Akan Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. The, the kingdom of God is near. Verse 32. Verse 32. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until these things happen. 32. 33. 33. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away. 34. 34. Be careful. Or your heart will be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and anxiety of life. And the day, the day will close on you like a trap. Like a the next verse. The next verse, 35. For it will come on those who live on the face of the earth. You hear the it will come on those who live on the face of the earth. But as it says in verse, the previous verse, be careful. Whom is, he, whom is he talking to? Tell your neighbor he's talking to you, the church. It will not catch you like a trap. It will come on all who live on the earth. Next. Suddenly. Be always on the watch. Pray. 
Lift up Jesus church. Let's keep praying. But let us watch. And pray that you may be able to escape. Tell your neighbor, be able to escape. All that is about to happen. And that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. And that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Oh, Jesus is coming back. He says, I go to prepare a place for you. John 14, verse 2. If I go, I will come back. And I will take you to be with myself. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. The Bible says the Lord himself will descend from heaven. With a shout of the archangel. With the trumpet call of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. And those, those of us who, and those of us who are alive will be caught up and will be built the Lord forever. Hallelujah! Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Be ready. I don't care what you believe. I don't care whether you believe Jesus will come after seven years. Or in the middle. But he's coming back. Four questions. Where will it take place? Where will it take place? Number one. Everywhere. Tell your neighbor everywhere. It will take place everywhere. Listen to what Jesus says. Matthew 24. Verse 26. So if you so if anyone tells you or out in the desert, do not go out. Here he is in the inner rooms. Do not believe it. As I told you, the man who said is Jesus is running away to the police. Jesus did not run away. When they came to arrest Jesus, Jesus said, "He says." Whom are you looking for? Jesus of Nazareth. They fell down. Then Peter cut off the ear of one, or one of them. Then Jesus said, I have always been with you in the temple. Why have you come to arrest me as if I'm a thief? This is the hour of darkness so that the scripture may be fulfilled. And they arrested Jesus. Jesus said, if I wanted, I would ask the Father, you would send 12 legions of angels and they would But if, 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 if the Lord was to stop he was to allow the angels to rescue him, you would not be here today. Tell your neighbor you would not be here today. Jesus gave his life for you and me. Yes, Jesus was beaten and he was crucified for you and me. Yes, oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. He died in your place. They tore his beard. And he cried and he cried. He cried and they pierced him. Not because of his sin. He, was was a... he had no sin. He died in your place. And he died in my place. So that we can have eternal life. Praise the Lord. So he is coming So he's coming back. So this is what it says. Verse 27. For us the lightning that comes from the east is visible in the west. That is Matthew 24, verse 27. 
So will be the coming of the Son of Man. Have you seen? Have you seen lightning? Whatever, I'm not No, we shall go. That's how when Jesus will come. Okay, yes, no, we Some TVs will break. Because the owner of the universe, Nanyinimu, will be descending ah, from heaven. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah! Hallelujah! He will be descending on a on a on a, on a, on a white horse. And all that he will be descending from heaven. And every eye will see him. Oh, hallelujah! 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 Oh, God. Hallelujah. He is coming back. And this is what this is how Matthew put it. Wherever there is a carcass, there the vultures will gather. That means when the trumpet blows, those of us who are in Kabale will be taken up. Those of us who are in Kampala, in Tokyo, in Johannesburg, in California, in China, in China, will be taken up will be, and will be with the Lord forever. Where the, 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 the Bible says the Lord will send his angels. In the next verse, this is what it says. Verse number 30. At the time the Son of Man will appear in the clouds. And all the nations of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven. With power and great glory. And then he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call. And they will gather his elect from the four winds. From the four winds. We will all disappear and we'll be with Jesus. Tell your neighbor, do you know there is, there is a horse? You have a horse in heaven? No, Gabra Murano, what one of my embarrass, you have a horse. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. You have a horse in heaven. Hallelujah. Twin embarrass You group. may not have a horse in Kabale, but you have a horse in no, heaven. No, but I'm not in Give the Lord a hand of praise. Oh, that one is for LC5. Give Jesus a hand of praise. Engaro Zamani. Come on, you can give Jesus a better hand of praise. Engaro Zamani. So who will be involved? All believers. All believers. Write Matthew 25. Verse 10 to 13. The Bible says, But while they were on their way, to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went with him in the wedding. That means those who are ready. Those who are ready. Those who are ready. Who will be involved? Tell your neighbor, be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Revelation 16, verse 15. Revelation 16, verse 15. 16, verse 15. Look, I come like a thief. Blessed is he who stays awake and remains clothed. So that so has not to be go naked and be shamefully exposed. Tell your neighbor, clothe yourself. Clothe yourself. Revelation 19, verse 18. Who will be involved? 19, verse 18. What is a cloth? What is a white cloth? Verse, Revelation 19, verse 18. Revelation 19. Verse, verse, verse 9. Then the angel said to me, Write, Blessed 
are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. Ask your neighbor, are you invited? If you're not invited, I will give you this opportunity. At the end of this service, I'm going to give you opportunity. You give your life to Jesus. If you're not saved, you'll be thrown out. And he added, these are the true words of God. At, at that, I, what, what, what a white linen. Verse says, bright and clean was given to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of the saints. What are the righteous acts of the saints? Give to the Lord. Forgive. Come to church. The righteous acts of the saints. Righteousness. Amen. Amen. Doing good. Helping your neighbor. Giving to the poor. Those are the righteous acts of the saints. Who will be involved? All believers. Philippians 2, 12 says, Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Amen. Amen. Number, uh, there are two more before we close. I'm talking about the coming of Jesus. Where will it take place? Everywhere. Who will be involved? Number three. When will it take place? When will it take place? When will it take place? Now, I want to, I want to, de- I want to demystify this, then we, we come to a close. Revelation chapter 4 verse 1. Okay. I want you to write down. After this, I, I looked up there before me was a, a door standing open. In and the voice I heard first. Like a trumpet. Come up here. And I will show you what must take place. What is John talking about? John is talking about uh, if you read Revelation from 4 to, to, to 16 there are three types of judgment. Three types of judgment. Before we come to a close. There are three phases. Say phases. Phases. There is what they call the, the seal of God's judgment. Write chapter 6 to 16. Find time and read it. Then there is what they call the trumpet judgment. Paul answers it. And then John also brings it clearly. When will it take place? I want us to go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 and 52. When will Jesus come and take place? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52. Listen to this. Verse 51 says, Listen, I tell you a mystery. Listen to this. Verse 51 says, Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. We will all be changed. In a, in a flash, in a flash, in a flash, in a flash, 
in a twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. That is when it's going to take place. When the trumpet blows. Then First Thessalonians, go to First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. Verse, verse, uh, verse 13 says, Brothers, we do not want you to be ignorant about those who die. Verse 14. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's own word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left till the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. Yes, let me read that. You've read it already. For the Lord himself will descend down, will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Now let's read, go to Revelation, and we will come to a close. Revelation chapter 11. Revelation chapter 11. Now, I want you to see this. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 22, talks about the last trumpet. Can you say the last trumpet? Say the last trumpet. Say like you mean it. The last trumpet. Now, let us go to Revelation chapter 11. Revelation chapter 11. Listen to this. Verse 15. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet. This is, the this is the last trumpet in the Bible. That is when the rapture is going to take place. And there were loud voices in heaven. Which say, the kingdom of, of God of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ and he will reign forever. And the 24 elders who are seated on the thrones before God fell on their face. And worship God. We give thanks, Lord. Almighty. The one who is and who was. Because you have taken your power to reign. The nations were angry and your wrath has come. The time has come to reward your servants, the prophets. And, 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 to, and, and, and those who revere your name. I have shared with you today about six signs about the coming of the Lord. And we need to prepare. In the next one month or two, there are things that are going to happen in the world. Just be ready. And you remember this sermon. In 2019, 2020, as lift up Jesus, we prepared cells. And during the lockdown, 
we would run between here and Wakaraba where and we would, we would pray in cells. If you are not in a cell today, you need to be in a cell. Because when things begin to happen, they close the church again. They are not going to close your mouth to pray. So I shared with you about the signs. Natural, international, national. The sign of Israel and all of those things. And, and the coming of Jesus. When will it take place? Any time. It is going to take place in the middle of Revelation. And every child of God will be taken. If you walk with Jesus, I want to read you this scripture as we close. Second Peter chapter 3. As I conclude. Second Peter chapter 3. Are you there? If they have say amen. Amen. Chapter 3, verse 11. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of God. And that day will bring about the destruction of the heavenly body of, of heaven by fire. And the elements will melt in heat. Verse 13. But in keeping with this promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth. The hope of righteousness. So then, dear friends, dear friends at Lift Up Jesus, I'm telling you, I'm charging you now. Our leaders here, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, Make every effort to, found, to be found spotless and blameless at peace with the Lord. Young girls, do not play around with your life. You may stand up and give the Lord a hand. Lord, just, just begin to talk to Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you because you are coming back. Lord, we don't just want to be excited about money, about life. But we want to be ready. I want you to begin to talk to Jesus about your life. Everybody close your eyes. There are some people who are here and you do not know Jesus. You are not born again. If Jesus was to come today, you do not know where you are going to go. You say, Pastor, I am, everybody is closing their eyes. No one is looking around. You say, I am not saved. I want to be born again, Pastor. If you are here, put up your hand. You want to give your life to Jesus. You want to give your life. Thank you. No, I, want you. You. I, want you to, I want you to make your way forward. Come. Come and pray for you, whoever you are. Please come. You're giving your life to Jesus. You're giving your life to Jesus. Please come. You're giving your life to Jesus. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Waiting for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank 
Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. Now, if you're here and you say, Pastor, I want to be ready. I want to be ready. You're here, you want to be ready to meet Jesus. Maybe in your life, you've, you've, you've not been straight with Jesus. You've compromised in one area or the other. I want to give you this opportunity to surrender to Jesus. If you're here, give you that opportunity. Whoever you are. Now I want everybody to pray this prayer. Everybody pray. You put your hand on your chest. Say, dear God. I thank you for today. I thank you for the opportunity about hearing about your coming. I thank you And Lord, I want to thank you that you have made it clear to me. I thank you for that you forgive me for not being ready for compromise. Now you mentioned those areas in your life. It, they could, it could be a lie. Some of you may be compromising at your work. You cheat. Maybe you have taken a bribe. you have taken a bribe. Ask the Lord to forgive you. And to wash you. Maybe you have, you have inv you've been involved in fornication. You've been involved in, in a relationship that is not righteous. You ask the Lord to forgive you. And get ready. The Bible says we, we should make ourselves spotless and blameless because it's coming back. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Jesus, you tell Jesus, now, Jesus, I receive your forgiveness. I receive your restoration. Help me to walk in your way. Help me to read the Bible. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 As lift up Jesus at the end of a service like this. The announcements will come, but I want to give you opportunity to worship the Lord with your offering and tithe. Can someone